Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the greatest game winners in NFL history by Phil Flix. Let's With check this out. any time left and only one more chance to win or lose, NFL players pull off crazy plays. Legendary the play right there. In history. A little front flip by Simpson. Oh, yeah, bro. This is an instant classic. It's crazy that this nigga got traded today. First, Insane. This game was tied when a catch led to something unbelievable. What the hell? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, okay. I remember this. The Dolphins won a game with three points. Wait, did it end in a safety? Bro, imagine losing like that. Got speared in the end zone. Andy Dalton, and what are you doing, man? Yeah, two free points for the Dolphins, but even something that oh, yeah, Derrick Henry. Oh, okay, I thought it was much shut up. So the 99 yard touchdown because with time ticking down, Matt pulled off the first of his big plays. Dang, oh my gosh! So that had everyone expecting the Lions to oh, this one, he um stopped the clock because they were still they losing. sneaked over the top and then just walked into the end zone down by six. But even though Stafford himself was signaling for a spike, he tricked everyone and did this. Yep, right there. Nobody saw that coming. But number 17 was even. Bro, crazy. this one right here was bro. an opponent's season. Both teams right Nigga, here. Hey, but they he teach you to bat the ball down, but yo. Both at that point. And that's why you gotta inter try to intercept it. But without much time left, and the Jaguars lining up for a chance to take the lead, their kicker attempted arguably the worst kick I've ever seen. Yo! Things were about to get even crazier just a few plays later. Fires, Mike Smith, Walker, knocked down. <laughs> Crazy, M Mike Thomas. That's just Wait a wow. With no time left. The Texans Imagine being a Texans fan down, during this time like right here. To, he Bro, I would have broke right something if I was a Texans fan. A touchdown. Now that was unbelievable. Yeah, Matt Schaub. Not as unbelievable as legendary bust. Where one legend's game winner helped him set Mike an Vick. NFL record. Mike Vick was about to make history. I remember he this. He desperately wanted to beat one of the league's best teams, the Vikings. The problem was that throughout the game, he was throwing <clears throat> like he had a noodle for an arm. Like, what the, what hell, the was that? hell was Anyways, that? So that's why he stopped throwing like a quarterback and started rushing like a running back. Damn. Run after run, he was killing his opponent oh so bad that he eventually had 127 rushing yards. <sighs> now with the game tied in overtime, Vic was just 23 yards away from breaking a record for the most rushing yards in a game by a quarterback ever and just the score away from winning when this happened. He said, fuck this. Give me the ball and get out of my way. Goodbye. While running through damn near the whole team, even making dudes smash each other, damn. that crazy run won his team the game and set his record with 173 rushing yards. Oh my but gosh. In the end, that play only won a regular season game. At number 15, a player's game winner sent his team to the Super Bowl. Everything came down to this kicker for the biggest moment of his life. Bro, this game was BS. The Saints should have won this game. Bullshit, no call of a pass interference play. Damn. Break the leg. Yeah, from 57 yards away. He won that with the longest game winning kick in NFL playoff history. Damn. But the game winner at number 14 almost made someone have a heart attack. Wait, what? Oh, this. Oh, this play. I remember this. I remember this. Like, bro, as a DB, how do you, like. How do you be mad at that? For real, for real. That's just a fucking great ass play. He gave. He basically gave up on the play without even looking at the damn ball. Magically bouncing into Antonio Freeman's hands. That catch was already crazy enough, so it made one announcer damn near have a heart attack. He did what? And just like he that, did what? the game was over. But at number thirteen, a player getting cocky. Pick six. Yeah, I remember this. We want to get the ball and we're going to score. Quarterback Matt Hasselbeck let a late comeback to tie the game. He was feeling himself and got a little too cocky, especially during the overtime coin toss. I like to call heads. Heads is called. <laughs> we're going to get the ball and we're going to score. Heads. Yeah, 
Saddler's won the toss. We want the so. ball, we're going to score. <laughs> Turn around, oh boy. Then and first the play, time, through pick six. Cool and all, until... Throw a pick six. Dumbass. <laughs> Yo. Bro. I would have def. Well, if I'm the coach, I'm cutting him right after this game. the wrong team. I bet that man never talks shit again. But number 12's game winner was so crazy. A player now only blacked out. He said God helped him score. Who else but Tate, man? Not Wait, that what? One. Golden Tate. And he was wild right here. Yeah, not for real. Oh my gosh. Bro, <laughs> if I'm number 34, bro, we got to throw hands. There's no way I'm letting this happen to me. Tate admitted he didn't even make that play. God did. Now, God did. Number 11's game winner was so much more iconic that it got its own nickname. Because with only enough time for one play, oh yeah, the Miami Miracle. 70 yards away to win the game, the Dolphins needed more than a touchdown. They needed a miracle. Miami Miracle. Kenny Stills, Parker, Kenyon Drake. Oh my gosh! Well, I wonder why they had Gronk back there. I guess if they would like throw a Hail Mary, no he would be able to way. be tall enough to that knock it down. The first but bro, walk off touchdown ever. It won the clutchest play of the year, and it even got its own nickname, the Miracle in Miami. But I thought it was just called the Miami Miracle, the top nigga. 10 greatest game winners in NFL history. Tucker's got to be top five. To a whole new top three, level. actually. Like a game-winning play that was so crazy, it got turned into an NFT. Or a play that was so brutal, it got someone fined thousands of dollars. Nigga, what? First, how about a game winner that won a team a championship? Adam Vinatieri will try to win it with a 47-yard field goal, 48-yard field goal attempt. Snap ball down. Kick Adam Vinatieri, one of the best kickers of all time. Right behind Justin Tucker. Damn. Yup. Right down the middle. Game over. And that not only cemented Adam Vinatieri as one of the greatest <coughs> kickers in history, it won them the Super Bowl. But as clutch as that was, number nine's game winning play completed the 28 3, bro. History. Atlanta they Falcons fans don't, they the don't like hearing that. 28 3, they're going to have a fucking conniption. Came out and I don't know how the hell you will even allow this. Ran up the score, 28 to three. Poor At coaching point, their probability of and like game poor execution by Atlanta in this game. That's nearly impossible to lose. But all right, let's be real. Tom Brady's in the game. There's always a chance. Hey, you got right that right, there, bro. He led the, the goat all the way back until they eventually tied the game and sent things into overtime. So eventually, everything came down to this. Toss to White. He's in. Patriots win the Super Bowl. Now that Tom Brady game has game his play. fifth. <laughs> bro, that's such I a legendary line right up. there, bro. Number a game winner was this so Was this Will Hill? It had fans destroying their squad's jersey. It's the Will Hill one. I hate the Browns. I hate the Browns so goddamn much. Off the um, block field goal. Game yeah, game this is legendary game. right here, and nigga. Travis Coons for the win. And it's blocked. Picked up by Will Hill. Will Hill. Will Hill runs down the sideline. Hill's going to get a block. Man. Hill is going to win the game. And a block. I was losing my mind, yo. Okay, man. To go from possibly winning the game on a kick to getting blocked like Matumbo. Not in my house. And giving up Not a in my to house. Lose, to be honest, I'd kind of be lying if I didn't see that coming. No, no, That's no. the Browns would do. Get Jordan Fans Poyer. still heartbroken. Oh! Oh my God! Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> now, all right. So far, we've only seen a safety, close the schools, nigga, and field goals winning teams the game. At number seven, a team won without even scoring. Oh yeah, I, I remember this one. Impossible. Iconic. With the Rams up by a touchdown. That's exactly Stopped what they right at the one yard line from scoring. So they had to get a stop right here, right now. I don't even know why they even threw it like in the field of play. That ball has to go to the end zone. McNair. We'll work out of the shotgun. Poor coaching, Nick poor play call. Right <laughs> Dumb decision. No, 
Whoa! Oh, poor guy. <laughs> he only needed a few more inches. And I've heard that before. Hey, <laughs> yo! But at number six, no diddy, bro. From 60 times as far. Oh, yeah. If we, um... Richard Rodgers caught this bit. It's gonna get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the Boom. For the win. Out of the pocket. Oh yeah, DeAndre Hopkins. I still, bro. You gotta have strong hands for this and triple coverage. Insane. Damn. Oh my gosh. He, damn, he uncorked that hole. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. Stokely. Down the sideline. Gus Johnson is the best commentator of all time, bro. Yeah, this is bullshit right here. This was an interception. Deep shot. Damn. Oh my gosh. I remember that. All right. I already know after game winning. Throws like those, some parlays were ruined. Took a Drewski. <laughs> I'm still salty about some of those. But those plays only happen in the regular season. At number five, a legend's biggest mistake in the playoffs led to the dumbest game winner ever. Wasn't this a, a strip sack? Yeah. Into the face. The ball is out. The Arizona Cardinals win it. Damn. A fumble to a kicked interception that ended with a game winner. That's the only time I've ever Crazy. heard of someone pulling off a kick six. But a I never kick thought I'd hear six. Yeah, kick Tucker. Until I bro, I almost back broke back my face. Player said fucking NFL reacted to this. Like, bro, I was celebrating so fucking hard. I punched myself in the even face. I was like, this shit time. was crazy. He might be the greatest ball striker to ever kick a ball. But even though Tucker's known to always hit ridiculously long field goals, with a game on the line, nobody in history had ever even attempted to make one from as far as he was about to. And, and broke the Lions' hearts once again. And it's it, it it's good. Bro, I lost my damn oh my mind. God, Tucker won the game from a record 66 yards away. Nobody's you breaking that. Me, Nobody's that's breaking one of the that. Craziest plays you'll ever see. But in number three is a game winner that was so legendary it got turned into an NFT. The hell? During all the metaverse hype, the, what the NFL fuck? started turning some of the league's craziest plays into moments that fans could buy and collect. But none of their NFTs became as legendary as the play right here. Is this Patrick Peterson? Yep. Kick. Peterson backpedals, takes it at the two. Trying to get outside. Turns it upfield. Patrick Peterson. Taking that bit to the crib. Kribski. Goodbye. Then the little, you know what I'm saying? 99 yards. Little strut. The longest game winning punt return ever. Little so, Dion strut to the end zone. This into an NFT. And hold up a sec. I think I'm going to buy this real quick. No fucking speaking way. Speaking of wasting money. At number two, a player's historic game winner got him fined thousands of dollars. Nigga, what? Oh, it definitely oh is it because he threw the ball in the crowd? The Seahawks did this. Is it because he threw the ball in the crowd? Toward the end zone. It is Curse. Seattle's going to the Super Bowl. Jermaine, Jermaine Curse. Curse. Jermaine Curse's touchdown sent him and his squad to the Super Bowl. So his excitement had him throw the ball into the crowd. Now, the NFL is strict about celebrating like that because they don't want fans fighting over a souvenir. 
So Jermaine got hit with unsportsmanlike conduct, which resulted Damn. in a fine of over $5,000 just because he celebrated his game winning play. Man, Luckily, hey, you can't, lose you can't money, find somebody for that, for their emotions like that. Ball, Come on now. He had sports collectors asking to buy it for over $20,000, 20 bands just for another man's brown ball. But hey yo, and he he can flip was, that shit though and sell it for even more. But they eventually lost to a play that even had grown men tearing up. Oh yeah, the Malcolm Butler interception. I still don't understand. You have Marshawn Lynch, who is like borderline unstoppable inside the five. And you're just gonna throw that? Come on now. I figured we can't just end the video like that. Nah, in my book. The real number one and greatest game winner. Oh, yes, Antonio Holmes. had zero percent chance of happening. At least that's what I found according to my calculations and what the players talked about. Santonio Holmes was the man with the plan. And honestly, he must have been studying one of the most legendary receivers film the night before. Because Julio Jones was a man who made a living making plays like these. <clears throat> Extra men on the rush. Ryan steps through it. Throws on the run. And Jones Damn. with a catch. To go in the Mmm. Like, bro, there would never be another Julio Jones, Megatron. Like, yo. Damn. Toe tapping or getting his toes in bounds like this to make catches was something unlike anything anybody ever saw. And ironically, making a catch like those is what Santonio and the Steelers plan to win a championship. They'd spent time in practice trying to perfect making it happen. But one of them admitted it was never even completed a single time. We called that particular play that we ran to finish the game in practice over 100 times. And the first time I dropped the pass in the back of the end zone. And then again, it was tipped. And again, it was intercepted. And again, it was overthrown. <laughs> again, I was out of bounds. Again, it was underthrown. <laughs> the play didn't work. So for them to whip that play out with only one opportunity to win or lose the biggest game of the year, that took balls. Well, we need this play, man. Go, man. This win the championship for us right here, man. Crazy. Man, the one time that they finally get it right is they win the Super Bowl. That's, that's insane. That is insane, bro. Difficulty? That was insane. And he's like levitating maybe a half an inch to an inch off of the ground as he makes the catch and just taps him in and falls out of bounds. How would you know that your toe is just inside? You watch it in slow motion, it looks difficult. Imagine doing that with all the speed, all the defense, all the elements, the noise, everything. He made it And with the, the, the pressure of the game the being on the line to win a Super Bowl. And just like that, man. The play, the game, Clutch. and their opponent's season was over with the greatest game winner I'd ever seen. But the most disrespectful things you'll ever see are in this video. And trust me, even that I tasted Mahomes. Ma that's insane, bro. Player alive, or the player that's a crazy ass. On all of his thumbnail. opponent's logos. All of hey, man, that's crazy. What do you guys think is the most, the craziest, greatest game winner of all time, bro? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, turn on my post notifications and get notified whenever I drop another banger video. Without further ado, I'm out. Dang!